So uh, we're Def Kiss Media, and we're here today with none other than uh, one of the grand legends, Sub 10. Nice to meet you, fella. How you doing? Good, good still, good? man. All right. Alrighty then. Let's let's steam straight into this, okay? So, first and foremost, tell us about yourself and um, describe your sound to, to some of you as emerging, maybe. Um, I'm from North London, Tottenham, in Sabiti. My name's Sub 10. Been doing grime for about 10 years now. Well, I took a 10-year ten, ten break. I was actually started doing grime in about 2006. Yeah. I was in a group called Shoddy Crew. Okay. Um, after, after we split up, I started rapping for a little bit. I didn't really feel it that much. Like, it wasn't really me, but it was a trend at the time. So I thought, okay, let me run with it. And then I think one day I must have went with my cousin to go and get signed. His name's Solo45. I went with him to go and get signed at Island Records. And he then convinced me, you know what, do grime, grime is you. So I thought, ah, you know what, let me just run with it. And yeah, That's I just true. thought, okay, cool, let me run with it. And it's always been my sound anyway, so, yeah. yeah. Same thing, it's just a natural progression. So. Natural, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you touched upon some of the big names already, like you yeah. work with and stuff, but um, like with people like Abracadabra winning a MOBO, yeah. and um, Skepta and Chip and Rich32 coming out there, coming out of Tottenham. Yeah. Uh, it's even Adele. You know, yeah. Tottenham given birth to some great names, you yeah, know. Like, and who, who were your influences growing up around the Tottenham area? Tottenham area influences. Um, Skepta was always a good mm. grime artist. I liked him because he came in the game on some. He's not having it. He just came in and just went for everyone. That's it. So man, yeah, man. he just he's always been lyrically. He's never went back in it. That's it. Yeah, Skepta and um, from Tottenham. Who else? Yeah, Retro too. He's very lyrical. Oh, he's okay. always had it anyway, he's been blessed with it. But if we're talking outside Tottenham, yeah. for grime, the grime pe people that I really like listened to was Tinji Strider, okay. DZ Rascal and Wiley. Yeah, yeah, some of yeah. the main players, isn't it? Shit, yeah. There you go. Um, obviously, we know you're part of Shoddy Crew back in the day. Yeah. But where did it all begin, like your musical journey? What it was like? Where you know what? Um, when I was in school, um, I must have, like, MC in them days was the fashion, and I didn't know how to do MC in that. Obviously, I had a friend called Dirty Tricks and one guy called Styly. They were in a group called Wild Out Team, and they were doing grime. And we used to do a lot of talent shows in um, my school, and them days I wanted to spit, but I couldn't spit. I was in the crowd, in it? So, yeah. And one day, like, I just said, you know what, let me just try a try thing. I wrote an eight bar. Yeah. It wasn't that good, but it was like a single long bar. It was, um, the bar went sub on always about making shoes, that's what I'm about. That was like my slogan. Yeah. I performed at a talent show and then it just went off. <laughs> so carried on spitting, spitting, spitting. And then I joined a crew called Flame or Family. It was a group in Enfield. Okay. A few people from Tottenham were in it, were in it. And then yeah, just carried on spitting. And then I thought to myself, you know what, Shoddy Crew was going on, like it was just building up them yeah. times. So I thought, you know what? They wanted me to join as well and it made sense. I'm from the area and then mm -hmm. I said, you know what? And we joined with Shoddy Crew because after that Flame family split up in it, so I was solo at that time, and then mm. just joined Shoddy Crew. Okay, yeah. I see. There you go. Heat FM back in the day, you know, mm. it was a local pirate radio station for Tottenham, and Shoddy Crew even you had your own set on there, so that's yeah. a big look. Yeah. Um, what were your, some of your best memories of those pirate radio days? Is there any well, standout yeah. stories? Anything? Anything? Yeah, I think well, there was a time um, we went Heat FM and we had um, lyrical war with a group called Animaniacs. They were a group in Tottenham as well. Okay. They had a few good MCs, um, Skimzy, yeah. Fizzy, Suave, um, Glide, a few people, yeah. It was like lyrical banter at them yeah. times, yeah. But we sent for them on radio and they heard about it, so <laughs> it was just an <laughs> ongoing <laughs> thing, innit? Yeah, because we were like the two, one of the two big groups in Tottenham at that present time doing grime. Yeah. So yeah, we went on radio and we just sent for them, so it was just, it was fun in days. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's what it's kind of all built on anyway, isn't it? Yeah, like well, and grand is a clash. It's, 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 yeah. it's a competitive. Mm. It's very competitive, yeah. Okay, um, after Shoddy Crew, you joined Shower N. Yeah. He had some affiliations with MPK. Yeah. Uh, moving away from grime to a more road rap sound. Yeah. Why had the change up or that switch back you know to grime? So? Um, after Shoddy Crew, um, Grime, I thought like Grime was dying, like it was kind of dying, and rapping became the fashion, innit? And obviously, you know, um, Shoddy Crew was originally from Northumberland Park as well, it was a group that grew up in Northumberland Park as well, so I was always kind of around yeah. the, a few Northumberland Park artists anyway. So then after um, 
what happened, I must have joined a crew called BC Kings. All right. It was um, a few people, some guy called Big J, Young J, local, a couple people. We was rapping, doing our thing, whatever. Yeah. And we made a MySpace and everything. And then one day, a guy called Eddie, he must have said to me, you know what's up, yeah? Join Shower ENT, innit? Like, let's link it with BC and MPK and let's do a little Shower ENT thing. So then, yeah, I joined Shower ENT, then the, the rest was history. Just, well, yeah, yeah let's run with it. It just made sense at the present time. That's it, man. You gotta go with your gut and them things, yeah. innit? That's it. Okay, so MPK released some mad tunes around 2010. Some yeah. of them diss tracks the rival crews. Mm. Without giving away too much detail, how did how did you feel about that moment in time? How, how you, all you know what? It, Every, it? Everyone had well, people at that present time had personal issues in it. You know how it goes in it in America as well. If you got personal issues with people, and you're both lyrically talented from both sides. You're yeah. gonna go at each other in it. So. That's what it was at that present time, in it. Like yeah. it wasn't for views or anything. Like just people just had personal issues with other people, so the they lyrics, just let their yeah, they just let their, it, their yeah. frustrations out in music. Yeah. And it happens a lot, in it. Like to this day, it happens as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Right. Uh, back in 2011, yeah. you released Purple Poison with Poppy. Yeah. Was that like a spur of the moment thing or were you meant to be a junior? You know what it was, yeah? We made so many tracks at that time that we had enough tracks to do two mixtapes. So we just thought, you know what? Like at that time, me and Poppy were the ones that used to go studio the most, didn't it? So mm. we just thought, you know what? Let's uh, just form yeah. a mixtape. And just we just ran with it. We just flung a couple tunes on there and yeah. just made sense. And yeah, we just ran with it and I just thought, let's make the mixtape. And Purple Poison at the time made sense, in it? So yeah. we just thought, yeah, let's run with it. Okay. Yeah. How is Purple Poison different to your new EP or your recent EP, Remember? You know what, because it's like Remember is a, a EP to show you that, okay, cool, I'm not a new school MC. I just wanted to show people that Remember that I've been doing music from a long time ago. Just because you haven't heard nothing from me that's grime orientated, don't think here yeah, that I'm one of these newcomer MCs. So I just put, a, I kind of mixed it up. I put a bit of grime, yeah. just a bit of rap and trap. I mixed it up a bit. Is I just it? wanted you to know when it, because if you can see the first so the tune first on the EP, yeah, yeah, the first tune's called Remember in it, and obviously it's got my my friend Kane on it, and I just mm. kind of the first verse you can see I talk about Axe FM days and things that went on. So I just wanted you to give you like a little story. Insight into, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's what it was really. But shout out the Purple Poison was a, sh a straight road mixtape. Yeah. Street was for the streets basically. And this one's more. This one's just more for everyone. everyone yeah. yeah. It's a good look, man. So I kind of touched upon it there, but tell us the concept behind it. Behind the concept. Me. Well, basically, like like I said, um, people, it's just to let people know that what I went through at that present time in it in music, and just to let people know my story because it's like. Let's be honest, like after I made um, They Weren't About, um, yeah. people people kind of forgot my, my background in it. They just thought, okay, sometimes one of them flashy rap MCs, yeah. rappers in it. But I wanted to let people know I came from a grime background. Yeah. And them times when we was doing grime, there wasn't a lot, there wasn't social media, there wasn't no YouTube, was all so of these things. Yeah, it was just it. MSN yeah. and MySpace, that was it. So, Proper. yeah, we just, I just wanted to show people like the, the story behind, behind the whole Shoddy Crew thing.